Hi, I'm Shifali Somani from Shine Empire and I'll be taking you on a walkthrough of the Sarkar Pratik's uh, show which is opened at the gallery space. The show is called Nirbodi till time stands still and we'll be looking at uh, Pratik's photography, his works, uh, his video and the video includes a little sound piece. So we'll be looking at all of this as we walk through this. Um, I'd like to start with uh, one of the three bodies of work that he's showing in this show. This, this body of work is called Jimo or Ruins and here he's photographed ruins from parts of Bangladesh uh, which are standing sort of uh, suspended in time and uh, these ruins were at one point of time homes of Zamindars, Hindu Zamindars, who actually were very much uh, in collusion with the British uh, free independence and they kind of got a sense of how, uh, you know, how India is going to be partitioned and they actually left their home and moved away from Bangladesh. And uh, these are their homes and nobody's actually claimed these lands and they've kind of become a part of the, you know, a lot of the foliage the, and nature has taken over these, uh, these ruins. So if you look at these beautiful photographs, you can see how well, uh, you know, the, how detailed the uh, foliage is. Um, can you just, so if you look at this photograph, you can see that the entire foliage has taken over the building. So you see some of the remnants left over in these buildings, like this photograph. All these books. The second body of work that we are showing in this exhibition is titled Mr. and Mrs. Das. Mr. and Mrs. Das were the, uh, the photographer's uh, own grandparents and he is documenting their lives and Mr. Das was a pastor. So, so here we are documenting on this table. We document their lives from the time they were married to the time he was practicing as a pastor. Then, of course, the children that they had. Post retirement, Mr. Das and Mrs. Das they moved into an apartment in Dhaka. Uh, strangely enough, after moving into that apartment, they both started keeping ill health with Mrs. Das, you know, developing a little memory disorder and having a stroke 
and Mr. Das having heart problems. So here, this is this is the photograph that Pratik has taken over a period of time uh, of his grandparents in their apartment. And because of their ill health, they were pretty much unable to leave this apartment space. So it kind of became a psychological exile for them being here, not being able to leave. And, and even the space, like if you notice these little cracks in the wall or the, or the cobwebs, sort of starts reflecting their own psychological state of mind. And uh, Mrs. Das, she passed away uh, while living in this apartment. And, and then Pratik's family, his mother and him, they wanted to move him out of this apartment and bring, them, bring him to live with them. But unfortunately, the day he was to move, he passed away. And uh, so this space kind of became like the last place where they actually resided and it kind of became a psychological exile and it reflected and it sort of time stood still for them. So both in ruins and in Mr. and Mrs. Raf, we see Pratik handling time in a way where it's kind of moving in slow motion, it's standing still and uh, and now, when we move to the third body of work, then we we'll see how Pratik handles time very differently in that. We're now in this room where we're showcasing a video of Pratik. This video is titled Roshni or Light and it's been shot over a course of like three or four years where Pratik has taken photographs of light on different, I mean he photographed light almost every day in different ways to actually show how like the fast pace uh, like he wanted to contrast this video to the other two works which are pretty much as I said suspended in time here we see light kind of hurling forward or time hurling forward in a way which is also a reflection on the kind of lives we are leading you know this very fast paced way of moving forward and that is what this uh, work is trying to reflect. And if you hear the sound, which of course has been edited and edited by the uh, photographer himself, you hear the sound of the ticking of a clock and then, you know, like the dripping of water. So these are like sounds which kind of also are indicated of, indicative of time and space.
The show is on on the 26th of November. I'd like to invite you all to come and see it in person. And I'd like to thank Sharani Masi and Mash India for making this walkthrough possible. Thank you.